Hello everyone, this is Rex. I'm here today going to make a video on a 98 Ranger timing belt and tensioner. Uh, we're going to go over the marks and an easy way to install the tensioner. Um, I know I had problems the first time I did it and I've come across an easy way to do it and I'm going to go ahead and share it. Okay, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and start with going over where the timing marks are. Okay, um, on the camshaft you're going to line up right down here on the cover it's going to be a triangle okay there's a triangle here and you line it up with the inside cover triangle okay um, you do not use this indention here and you don't use the diamond up here okay it's going to be the triangle against the triangle okay now on the oil Okay, you time the oil pump. Now it has the diamond. You line up the diamond with the diamond right there. Okay, now on the crankshaft, uh, there's a little dot right in front of the keyway here. And that lines up with a little notch here. So those are your marks you're going to line up. Now I'm going to show you how to do the tensioner and an easy way that I do it okay let me get you set up here all right okay now here's the tensioner okay all right okay it's spring-loaded and it's kind of a pain in the ass but I'm gonna go ahead and show you what I do and an easy way to do it and I'll try to stay out of the way all right, so we'll jump over here. Okay, first off, we'll go ahead and put this side in here, and we'll get the spring end on this side of this where it holds the tension. So I'll go ahead and get the main bolt in. Okay, and just finger tighten it. Okay, now what I use is a pry bar. And I'm gonna go ahead and get the get this bolt in here okay all right all right now what i'm going to do is go ahead and get the belt on all right i've already got my marks lined up so, I'm going to try to keep tension on this side over here. Oh, get my line back up here. Okay. Now, right there, right there, right there. Okay. Now, what I do to get this belt on this tensioner is I use the pry bar again. A little slack in it there. Let me see. Play with it a little bit, but there we go. All right, now let's bring it on there. There's a tension on one side right here. Right. Go back, get it in there. All right, okay. Now what I'm going to do, sorry if I'm blocking you for a second here. Alright, I'm going to use the pry bar again. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pry this tensioner over, and I'm just going to slide the edge of the belt on here, and then try to pull the pry bar back out. It's a little tricky. you got to be careful because it's under tension, too. So i got the edge of it on there. Now, I'm just going to push it on now. There we go. That's it. It's on. Now I could uh, tighten these up right here. Um, check my marks. Make sure they're all still aligned. Yeah, that's it. Uh, good practices once you get it all tightened down and everything to go ahead and rotate the motor in the way that it goes uh, two or three times and then go back and double check the marks and uh, make sure that 
your tension wasn't it was on the correct side when you release the tensioner and make sure none of your marks are out. But anyway, I uh, hope this helps. And uh, if you have any questions, just leave a comment. And uh, please subscribe, and I will make more. Thanks again. My name was Rex.